Let's try this one more time. Welcome everyone to Duel's Kingdom Tournament and the Master Duels 3 Duel Series. Today we're going to be having a tournament with Duel's Kingdom characters plus a few other characters. Our people right now. It's going to be Mokuma vs. Teya. Reiko vs. Joey. Yugi vs. Niji. Mei vs. Mako. Sam vs. Sox. Rex vs. Ghost. Yako vs. Seto. Soul vs. Banny Keith. Capri vs. Atum. Kamazu vs. Gecko. Weevil vs. Para. Bones vs. Panic. John Claude Magnum vs. Risa. Sid vs. Yami. Pete vs. Lane. Pegasus vs. Zygor. Alright, let's enter the first match. Oh, it's Taya. I did upgrade a few of the character sticks. I give them at least two new cards each. Some of the new decks might be a little strong though, we'll see. Sword of Mealing Light is on the field. Raikiki destroys the golem. And she got a Shining Angel. Or Abyss. And a Monster Reborn. Yeah, I'd be sand on it too. It's pretty powerful beat stick right now. Not sure how he's gonna counter it. That's probably what how. Regiki on his side now. And putting up some defenses. She used most of her hands, so it's gonna be pretty hard for her. Luckily, she can protect herself for a few turns. Exactly, me yet. Hungry Burger recipe. Sending its Genesis Dragon. Hungry Burger is on the field. Two cards face down. Dark Hole is activating. Maha Vilo attacks again. Now Mokuba is also pretty low on like resources. And yes, his two monsters that he was in the, in the show that he had. I have a. Everyone's gonna get little power boosts for the next. Well, not the next series, but the next couple series. There's gonna be Battle City. I feel like everyone's going to have a start power boost. Well, most of them will. Some of them are a little already too strong enough, so... They might not get anything. Battle City, I was thinking about doing a... 4 to 5 week event. Adding almost all the characters that have been in this series so far. Plus a whole bunch of other characters. We'll see. Blackline Fire Dragon's on the field. Looks like Taya might be having the win of this one, but... Mokuba found a way to hold on a little bit, so... Maybe he can do it a little better still. Alright, swords destroyed. Psychologic backland for Genesis. Genesis attacks. Now it's Heya, it looks like she might be having the issues now. What is her hand if she can't do anything with it? Shining Abyss is destroyed. Alright, doesn't look good for Taya. She sells a whole bunch of life points, so she's fine right now, but I could deal a whole bunch of damage right now. Alright, 
Alright, Taya, what you gonna do? Face down card. We're self protected for a little bit. Genesis attacks, destroys. Card face down. What up, Kyle? How you doing? Black Land attacks for 15, Genesis for 22. I was really hoping Silk Song came out on the Xbox Live thing, but still keeping it hidden, unfortunately. Fire the Underdog activates. Black Land Fire Dragon attacks. That probably would help turn it go, but that's not going to help right now. And just attacks. Nice, you got 13k points. Victory. Uh, let's get these people out of the way. Milk was one randomly. Next is Reiko versus Joey. Oops. Reiko. And Joey Reiko is from Yu Gi Oh! R. Oops. And where's Reiko? I feel like she might have a good, decent chance on this. Right, there we go. Jerry starts with the alligator sword. Reiko has a little soldier in the field. Oh, he's doing an invasion arc now? Is that where the Zexal stuff is coming from? Upking attacks. Come on, Joey. Dark Bull, that's a good hit. Got his third eye attacks for 1200. I might have to look at his Mizell, see how he did his differently than mine. Originally. So let's pick Puppet Queen. Destroys Goddess. Time Wizard, come on, Time Wizard, it's just a fact. Too bad, Joey. That Time Wizard it would have been cracked. Sends the way, sends the rook. 14, 3k. Joey's at 50, does not look good for him. He can turn this around. Doesn't look like it's good right now though. Got it on the field. Sorry, baby dragon. Alright, Reiko's the winner. Well, yeah, we both have based on the same character, but it's always fun to look at other people's ideas for the character and see if there, there came up something different, something new. Yugi vs. Niji is next. Where's Yugi? And Niji. Oh, wrong thing.
Like he he will have characters. Like most of our characters would should be the similar in nature. Since they're all based off the same characters, but some people will have different decks and stuff. Yes. That's what I'm kind of doing on this series and planning on characters getting Exceed Monsters or Synchros if their archetype allows them to, but it'd be a little later for these ones. Not sure how exactly how to work it out just yet, but... But I do plan on having, like, hey, yeah, having that XC Dark Magician Girl, Magi Magi Girl, if that's in the game. Probably is, but. Probably isn't, actually, no. Since I said it is, it's probably not. Because there's some weird cards that are not. Like, Air Neos and stuff like that. While Illusion's protecting him. The cards. He just needs to get Valkyrie in. And he can summon it. He can still summon it if he draws it. The Dark Mission rank 7 is in the game, but Dark Mission Girl 1 isn't. Okay. So Yugi will eventually get that card, or another Dark Mission user, depending on how things work. I'm, ta I'm taking on the storyline now. There's four different dimensions, kind of like Arc V, but... I'll put them in their deck. They're if they use it, they use it. If they don't, they don't. Preferably, I hope they use it. But it's n it's never guaranteed with some of these cards. Like in the manga tournament, I have built a deck for Eve, and sh her deck is supposed to be all ranked tens, or um, I mean tens and fives and stuff like that. Like uh, the new Rex card. Rex will play it. It's like one of the new Rex cards so that you can um, discard a card for a dinosaur with normal dinosaur with 1200 defense. There's an additional effect that you can normal some level 5s and up without tributing. He won't use that effect at all, but he will use discard to get a dinosaur effect, which is weird. The AI is. Please strange on what it wants to do. Alright, AG's moving on. Come on. Yeah, Yugi's gonna get a new deck. I'm not sh sure if he's gonna start doing his... Gar manga stuff with his toys and stuff, or getting Block Dragon or something, but... Yugi needs an upgrade. May versus Mako is next. My versus Mako. Currently, she's a powerhouse. Eve is very much a powerhouse right now. She will summon her stuff easily. But I don't want to go too strong with her. <laughs> she is supposed to be the boss, so maybe I'll keep her like that, but... And she does lose. I have Allie in that deck, I mean that tournament as well, and Allie can beat her. Allie has the um, Aqua Actress or something. Or 
Well, I hope Alito and uh, Gelag joins soon. I'm still in the school tournaments from that series, so. I've been, since I've been doing a lot of Yu Gi Oh!, I've been kind of avoiding the series. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel like I'm overdoing Yu Gi Oh! and everything, so. Oh, Mirror Force hitting Mako, or Great White. My summons the Sky Scout, or Harvey's brother. If you old school Yu Gi Oh fan, now is she gonna summon Harvey's pet dragon? No, she's not. Not yet, at least. Aw, summon it! Installate Shaman. Instead of all birds, I kind of gave her humanoid characters for the most part. Plus harpies. Mako's still the freaky fish guy. Alright, Monster Reborn. Wait, what shark now on the field? Alright. Mice looks like she has the advantage right now, but that maiden of aqua is protecting Miku for a little bit too much now. Alright, now let's just guys get on the field. Insane XYZ, that sounds very scary right now, actually, yes. And for my tournament, I gave uh, Declan Sad, Leo, I think that's his English name is. I gave him uh, Armor Phage, that really horrible deck. Archite. He seems to be able to use it a little bit, but not the way I want him to. Alright, Heavy Storm activates. Attack by two monsters for a Harpy Sweat Dragon. Destroying the fish. Attacking life points directly, that's not good for my. I need to get rid of that thing really quickly. Maybe someone's another one of those things that's over her for her. As you can tell, I I know them more of their English name than their Japanese name. Some of the characters I will know by their Japanese name too, but. Most of them all is English characters for me. Kraken's got a little shell. This the Miss Valley Shaman. Harpy's Sweat Dragon's gonna attack, 600. Just going down to the line. Mako just needs a little weak way to win, but Mai's probably gonna win this one. Especially with the Harpy Feather Duster. It's a jellyfish. Yeah, next week's sermon I'm gonna be doing Duke Devlin's Black Clown tournament. I haven't decided the name just yet yet. All 
right. Mako moved on. There's Mako. There's Mako. Next up is Sam versus Stocks. There's Sam. And Docs, where is Docs? Yeah, while well, this tournament's going on, they're having a tournament over in Duke Devlin's having a tournament. And that's gonna be next week. Some of the characters that don't get very much screen time. Alright. Here we have the flying elephants. 4k to lose that thing. Hilarious, I'm dreading when Shark and Kite and the gang eventually show up since I don't know if Cooper is going to add them. I'm sure he'll add them, I just don't know if he's as familiar with their decks, since I think he says he's stopped at syn the Synchro Arrow with 5D. He knows other characters, but he's not as familiar with them. Me, I have watched at least through Arc B. Reigns I started, I just never finished. Alright, Sam's already winning. That was actually a pretty quick duel. Uh, Rex versus Ghost is next. Well, you should still check out Sexel. Rex is like, I mean, Sexel is like one of the best series. It starts out horrible. It gets so good. I had to force myself to watch like the first season, but when I got to a certain point, I was like, oh, next episode, next episode, next episode. Shadow spell hit Urubi. And Dark Bullet. Dual Carnival. Dual. Blah, I can't talk anymore. Dual Carnival is pretty good. <laughs> that's when Anna, that's when Kathy, I think, comes in there too. The Jackals. I remember enjoying myself, but I, li I like watching garbage too, so garbage can be fun. Rex is a really bad hand right now. Hopefully, episode 30, so you're towards the middle, early, early to the middle. Alright, he summons Irby. Packing for 100. Come on, Rex Raptor. I know you're better than this. Dark Hole. Attack for 11. You're at 350 now. Rex Raptor. You needed. Not draw that. Ushione is on the field. Attack. Thank you for using that finally. Come on, you need to beat the ghosts. Ghost Kaiba. 
the guy claiming to be a Kaiba. Ground Xeno activates. Don't add that. Sexo does have at least better reason for filler, du for bleh, filler duels. Yeah, Zexel's pretty fun with a filler. RV was... They could have done better. Brains. I watched the early part and felt like it kept doing uh, recap episodes, which was really annoying. And that's when I kind of stopped watching. But I do want to go back to it and actually watch it. Oh, Rex is getting... Only at 250 life points, he's trying to turn his rounds. Getting his red eyes. Inflicting 1000 damage. You're gonna dread my tournaments with GX, because they're boring? I, I think you're gonna have a little bit more fun, because I am reworking the tournaments. You combine it with DM a little bit, so... That's the reason why you meet, you're meeting Kamnazu right now. Good job, Rex. You beat the ghost. Yako and Seto are next. Oh, you're gonna watch it with your buddies. That makes you feel a little bit better now. <laughs> uh, it was Yako and who? Seto? And we're Seto. GX was a hit or miss. I like the early on episodes that are not just lifestyle, I guess. The shadow charms were kind of interesting a little bit, but kind of meh. Light, lights, brigade, whatever you want to call it. Cyrus wasn't really annoying, I agree on that one. Well, thank you, my tournaments are fine, good. Lajin sacrifices itself, so the other Lajin can attack. Yako is going to play Raigeki, destroy the La Jin. He's using Foolish Burial to get rid of the Beast King. And it's his turn. Ryukushin Power is attacking for 16. Cat Smaller is in defense mode. It's going to activate Shrink on its own self because the AI does not know how to use Shrink very well, so I might as well just take that out of the deck. Well, the evil guards are not in anyone's stuck yet. Pegasus has made all the god cards right now, but they're just hidden right now. People are going to start getting them soon, but they are... They're not available yet. Next up is Soul vs. Bandit Keith. Soul Chavowski... Basically... Is my version of Yami Pegasus.
Well, the god cards are going to get passed around eventually. Not sure if the Yako or who's going to get him yet. Uh, Bennett Keith, let's see who's fate. There we go. That's where I get the name inspiration from. He basically is relinqu relinquished side of... Well, Pegasus is the tune slide. Since they have two different, distinctly different cards. In my mind, Soul is a little bit weaker in most part, but depending if he gets his rituals out or his fusion out, he could do damage. I was also going to give him illusion cards, but those cards are not available just yet. So I gave him illusion S cards, like the Gazelle, or Gazelle and Mystical Beast. Keith's using his temple to summon his slot machine. Slot machine attacks. Baron Throne's gonna attack for a lot. 2650. I mean, the, the idea of him is fine. Attacking the Illusion Mage. Now it's going to destroy it. I also have a Yami Ishizu. I haven't fully fleshed her out just yet, but I gave a Yami to all the characters with the name items. Shoddy, I'm, except for Shoddy, which is weird because he has two Millennium items. Shari's not really in the show very much anyways, but so. Yeah. It's weird that he, he's in that game. I also like those... Oh, I think they're called plant things. I don't know if they're... That are also just turned into duelists as well. It sounds for her for Matt. Getting Gazelle. Our truth is just keeping Bandit Keith alive. And he's doing as much damage as he can. Looks like Bandit Keith might win this, but he has, just has to get rid of the the cornfield cult tool. It can't be destroyed by battle. The Zillusion monsters cannot be destroyed by battle for whatever reason. Two more cards face down. Ice Rose activates. If he was smart, he would just uh, sacrifice his. like with the Dark Pool and just summon a monster to attack, but. AI is not that right. Soul is using the swords. I assume Soul is also gonna sacrifice his coastal for relinquish. When that happens. Alright, Soul's keeping himself alive. And keeping Bandit Keith alive too. Alright. Like I said, I have Yami Shizu, Yami Merrick's gonna be Yami Merrick, Yami Bakori, Yami Yugi, or it's already there. Alright, everything's destroyed. 
If Manaki summons something, he wins. And looks like he is. Alright. Banakeith is winning. Sorry, Soul. Next is Dupree versus Atom. Or Atom. Ayami sees you I plan to be a rare hunter. Uh Dupree. Alright. Bree has his eater of millions on the field now. Pretty easy to stop right now, but will the AI be smart enough to destroy it quick enough? Smart enough not to attack. Millions of eater of millions destroys it. Whereas the unicorn goes back to the top of the deck. I wonder what attempt drew. Alright. Attempt's not that bright. Well, the AI's not that bright. Okay. I'm guessing... Attempt's gonna lose this one. He's very much looping, yes. I didn't think the horn is. I know the horn unicorn's kind of a good and bad card. And he's just not. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. I might just have to take that card out. I thought it would be a fun card. Well, Horned Unicorn is leaving soon too, anyway, so... So Tim's gonna have to come with some other cards, so... Yeah, I was thinking about updating a Tam for the Battle City to be more... more Dark Magician themed a little bit. Cast sounds on the field. And he doesn't have anything in his hand, so we play. And Eater Millions is too scared to attack for whatever reason. Yeah, I didn't test the million Eater Millions out too much. Alright, Atem found a way out, so now Atem, please, burning lands, he has nothing though. Alright, if this keeps going on, Dupree is going to lose, but, this... alright, we're going to summon, setting another card. Probably has a mirror force as well. Doom Lord in defense mode. Alright. For a looping horrible duel. Seems to be ending pretty soon though. Pot of Greed. Good Maju. Alright, the prey is went moving on. <laughs> Next up is Kamazu versus Gecko.
And Gecko, where are you? There you are. Kumazo means raging bear. And you say some gecko, I believe, right? There you go. Well, that duel was annoying, but hopefully, our panda man can beat gecko. Yeah, Mr. Hovington, lore-wise, he was a duelist before doing his um, company, I guess, so let's bring him out a little early, show him that there are other duelists other than Duelist Kingdom characters, Battle City characters. I'm also planning to bring Mathematica into the mix a little bit, too. Treasure Panda summons Ryu Kishin and a card face down. He's currently using Big Walla to show Chumley that he can win with his Panda or being Koala. He's going to start using his King of Mystical Animals, or whatever it's called, Behemoth, after this, though. Alright, Tar Heels on the field. Panda's destroyed. That panda survives. That panda's destroyed. But it powers up that panda. And since pandas eat bamboo, I gave him the bamboo swords as well. He's not really using them at the moment, but he has them. This is sand destroys that. Dark Elf destroys that. And since he owns wine and hot sauce, I kind of gave him blue medicine to represent the wine. He's still winning right now, but that's because Gecko's using Dark Elf's effect too much. And he drew the big hole at the wrong time. Twenty-one. Come on, so got twelve hundred left. Gecko's at twenty-eight. Pot of Greed, draw two cards. Sand destroys. Dark Elf wins. Alright, Gecko's moving on. Next is Weevil versus Para. And yes, Para and Docs do have slightly different decks. Slightly. Same thing is going to happen with the Mask Boys, Umbra and Loomis. I don't know what exactly to give them yet, but to differentiate them. Other than the Mask Beast and Mask Beast something. Uh, Weevils in front. And I don't remember which of the brothers it was. I think it's Para. Alright, Dark Hole so early. 
Maybe you storm so early. Alright, Labyrinth attacks for 1000. So there's a big insect, the insect is strong enough to attack. And in turn. Aggravation on the Protector of the Throne, but not strong enough. Maybe some activates, making it a little weaker. And then putting some armor on the insects. 1100 to the face. Another card, Defense Mode. Alright, Revol, you got three of your insects. Your little petite moss. I don't know if you played the game Midnight Suns from Marvel, but I guess it's free on the Epic Game Store. Just downloaded it myself, so I'm gonna probably play that later today. A lot of decks are garbage, but at the same time, they all have cards that can make them broken. They're they're they have one of each of like different cards. Like Weevil has one of the cocoon of evolution things that spell card. He also has that trap card that can lower monsters attack. Eventually, I want Para to have, like, and Dox to be one using the Dark Guardian, the other one using more of the Fusion final form. Lots of reborn Petite Angel for the Hercules Beetle. Alright. Para is getting graceful charities, removing all the swords, attack for 800. Alright. That's why I gave him all Mirror Force and all that stuff, because some of the decks really suck more than others. And that Dark Hole, Raigeki, and Mirror Force will even out a little bit. Killing Needle, Insect Invitation, Summon another Hercules Beetle. Attack for 700. Is he gonna pay off his life points? Probably will still, but... Weevil might be winning this one. Oh, he does not have to pay half his life points. I mean, what is face down card? That could be a dangerous card. Weevil wins. Next is Bones versus Panic. Uh, where's Bones? There's Panic. I love Bones, he's a cool guy. Panic. Kinda sucks. He's very, very defensive. Clown Zombie tries sacking, and we'll go back to the hand. We'll give him enough time to use his circle. 
and Yami in the field should help out the zombies, I think. I know there are some bellcasters and fiends. There are zombies in that too? Probably not. Maybe Storm is activating. Let's destroy everything. Getting a mirror force. That's a good hit. Found zombie attacks for 1350. Then he can summon his Punk King. Hopefully. Oh, Panic won't let him. And he has nothing though. Another found zombie on the field. 1350. Come on, Bones, you're almost halfway there. Card face down. We send activates. Three legged zombie. Not strong enough. Ragiki, though. Get out of that wall. In turn. Looks like he had a heavy storm as well. And another card face down. We know his mirror force is destroyed already, so... Probably not important, but let's destroy it anyway. Solemn Judgment, good hit. 2450. Made it through half left points now. I thought Bones' hand was kind of not that very great right there, but... He seems to be turning, being really good at it. Palm King's on the field now. 1800, there we go. My head cannon is, they do duel like this. And after this battle, that's when they trade their cards a little bit, so. Now that's the reason why the cards affect each other. Alright, there we go. Bones is the winner. Items. John Claude versus Risa. John Claude has the, the crappy ninjas. Risa is her witches. I think Claude might have advantage over this, but we'll see. Where's Risa? I'm blind. Got little nightmares for two to five bucks. Little nightmares sounds so familiar. I'm drawing a blanket on it right now, but okay. Never mind. I know what it is now. All right, so we're used to sacrificing for the witch, destroying Grandmaster. Another card face down. Crimson Ninja can destroy the face down card, most likely. Nope. Another card face down. Witch destroys. White Ninja destroys. Am I John Claude like? Bio is basically kind of ripping off Naruto, the first movie. Instead of the Lands of Snow, it's Land of Flames. Instead of Naruto, it's Sasuke. It's kind of done. Exact damage. Good job, Risa. John Claude's mad. He did not get to meet my. 
Next up is Sieved versus Yami. And was it Yami was it? Yes. Yami Bakora. Oh, you don't get to see what his hand, his deck is yet. I gave Sid Hazy Flames, and they gave uh, Zygor Thunder Dragons. I think that was the Hazy Flames were the closest thing they work with Blank Flame Wing Pegasus. Necroface attacks for 17. Necroface face down. Rakeki destroys it. Force is activated and card face down. Some of Spirit Special Summons, so is Earthbound Spirit. 500 to the face. And a card face down. There's the first Hazy Flame. We have no way to summon it right now, so. Dark Sanctuary is on the field. 500. 18. Four Sid. Some Flame Tiger, give it Salamandria. Dark Sanctuary activates. Mirror Force activates Sue. Goodbye. The coin. Poor, poor Sid. The core only has one thing, Dark Sanctuary, so. If he draws it, cool. If he doesn't, cool. Yeah, maybe Cora is winner. Next up is Pete versus Elaine. Uh, Pete. Yeah, he went on the dip. Toss as well, so. King Tiger Wangu is on the field and the card face down. Beats first swing, Dark Hole, getting rid of everything. No Tigers for the field. And he's going to probably use one for tribute. I'll take the Soul Tiger. Mystical space to face down. Attack for 25. Pete, I kind of based on his boss monsters are the werewolf and the mutants. So I kind of do like science experiments, I guess. Eventually, I want him to use mutants, but mutants, I would say, are too powerful at the moment. Server tech alligator attacks. Another card face down. Time 
I've heard the sense of spell activating. Sending those two to the grave. Ritual summon. Lycanthrope. So Tech destroys. And Rope attacks for 24. This effect burn for 400. That's my thought process, is with giving science experiments and... Because the ritual for Lycanthrope is kind of sciencey looking. And it looks like he won. Eventually mutants will come in. And he'll probably start using those. But those are very fast if you want. Next up is Pegasus versus Zygor. Toon World versus Thunder Dragons. Weak Thunder Dragons. Here's Pegasus. Like, or where are you? I'm blind. Dark hole in the Hunter Dragon. It also explains where they get science cards. Like, because in the past they didn't have science slabs. I won't. I wouldn't imagine. Wouldn't imagine. Imagine. I can't talk anymore. So they have people making it. Yeah, mutants are nuts, so... Is there any weird archetypes that you can think of that no one really uses? I Let me know and I'll see if I can figure out a way to use them. Or a boss monster of some sort as well. I, I know some, like, I have a lot of lists of characters of who's gonna get what, but... There are cards that I probably overlook and don't even notice are good. Like in Arc V, there is a character that battles Frederick, I think its name is, the Doodle Blo Doodle Cartoon Dinosaurs. And he has like Power Ranger theme, so it's gonna give him the layers, the red layer, white layer, whatever it's called. I think that I think that would be decent for him. Still have no clue what to give Valen yet, but I'm thinking about it, insectors. I think that might work. Yeah, super fonts. That's what they're called. But Valen, I think, might be work with. Insectors, they're kind of equipped armor that you can just equip equipping more and more stuff to. They're really fast in my mind though, but so... I might have to figure out a way to lower their consistency. Alright, Thunder Dragon the field, destroying the Dark Rabbit. And Pegasus cannot use Heavy Storm because Toon World will be destroyed. I guess I sound corrected. They zoom me. Thunder Dragon attacks for 18. And looks like Pegasus is going to lose his own tournament. Tunes kind of suck anyway, especially the early tunes. Alright, there we go. Saga so it's moving on. Alright. Next round. We got Mokuba versus Reiko. I feel like 
That'd be cool if they do manga cards that are based on manga. It's been years, so I doubt they'll do it, but... Uh, Mokuba versus Reiko. Where are you, Reiko? I'm blind. I feel like Mokuba is going to lose this one horribly. It really felt like John, Claude, and Reiko were the ones who were going to win the tournament. Yeah. He doesn't really have an archetype, so I kind of gave him cards based on Kaiba, but at the same time, I, I have an idea for him, which I'm slowly working on. I have an archetype that hopefully you will enjoy when he gets it. Oh, destroy both your monsters. I think it's funny that Yu-Gi-Oh! R basically took a girl and gave her the same symptoms as Serenity. Good Breakos basically also going blind. And have it have her be the interest for Joey in the series. Like I said, this doesn't look good for Mokuba. Go in defense, send the queen away. <clears throat> Pound destroyed. 15, 32. You probably already kind of see what his deck might turn into if you recognize certain cards, but. Does destroyed and then destroys, but the king kills. All right, next up is Nietzsche for Sumiko. Novella? No. Novella is a different character. Who is he facing? Mako? I think it was Mako. Mako. There's very too many cooks characters, so I, I don't want to give the novella stuff to them until until like we're a cook at least. Currently in my YouTube cert version, Reed Pepper just used it. For Mick, not very good at it, but it works fine. The Hungry Burger is just to reference the manga because they had a little game where they had to eat food and the, the poison one was the burger. So that's the reason why I gave him the Hungry Burger. 
Rogue Dolls in field, Rain of Mercy. Thanks for 500. Yeah, there's Reed Pepper, there's the Yellow Dorm leader. There's there's a lot of cooks. I can only think of the two at the moment, but I know there's more, but there's also the wine guy from GX. I think Reed Pepper will. Yeah. I think Reed Pepper will keep the. Novola, Novolas, whatever things, what do you call them? But Dolce's. I don't know who, if that would should go to the wine guy. From the GX series. For someone else completely. Another card base down. Rogue Doll attacks. Card base down. I know I did not give Mako a tornado wall. Those are very horrible. Sanagi, which one's Sanagi? Alright, I'm gonna look up who Sanagi is because I'm drawing a blink on who that is. Sanagi Yu Gi Oh! Oh, the Scarlet Starling. Where is she from? Is she from Sexel? Did she even have a deck? No, she didn't have a deck. So she can she can introduce in the well. I'll probably introduce her into Sexel. Yeah, I'll probably introduce her. I don't know what the deck to give her just yet, but. She has an interesting body shape, so. With her, like, hair. Compared to characters that have no features that are look. to give them distinctive in this. Oh, she has Madolce in there? Okay. There are a lot of Madolces, so maybe they both can have Madolce. But I probably will give it to her. I'll think about it. Sing on the field. We just walk. Sacrifice that. Sing and destroys. Salvage, get two monsters back. Amphibious beast on the field. Stealth attack brings seven color fish back. Yeah, he does that. It's gonna do it again. Only that time with this one. He's just making sure he's protected. What what if Niji pulls out a mirror force even though it's on the field? Lodge on the field. Move that from play. I mean I think that's a better then ready to wall. Some color fish attacks. 18 to the face. I would have put the other one face down, but you do you, man. You do you. Play summon the fiend kraken. Even though the Amphibious could actually attack life points directly or something, but... It's 
so you would have won already. I know that lamp. The lamp could kill. Not anymore, but... Well, maybe, still. Be smart you would summon the lamp, but singing's fine. Not really. Singing's effects add a wall of illusion, but you can't summon anymore. So in turn, that lamp could have saved him. Nine hundred in the face. Well, he still has a chance. He's probably gonna win now. Because they like attacking with the weak monsters. Actually... It looks like Mako might be winning this one, actually. Good job, Mako. Very close, but Mako did find a way. <laughs> yes, AI is dumb sometimes. Next up is Sam versus Rex. If he set the lamp, he would have won. Why am I trying to look up lamp? Who? There's no one named Lamp. Uh, Sam versus Rex. Hopefully we'll see Sam get his elephant victory. Alright, Sam and Rex on the field. Here he has a big crawling dragon on the field. Pot of greed, draw two cards. Dark hole. One Slitterborn. Get a dino on the field now. Mystical space to face down. Summon an elephant, just like a dinosaur. And almost bring your life points to half foot. Now what's Rex gonna do? Play a defense card. Elephant destroys. Sword arm dinosaur. Sacrifice and we're gonna sacrifice for the elephant gigantes. Card face down. This flying elephant destroys and exact damage. I think Sam likes this neighborhood. Sam's been doing good over here, so he might just stay in and not go back to America. Next up is Seto versus Bandit Keith. That's O Seto Kaiba. Hopefully you can beat the Keith. Alright, Lajin will field. Not strong enough for the robot knight. So another card base down. Wing destruction though. No sacrifices for you. Dark Hole destroys it. Another card. Two cards face down. Hmm. 
And just for this tournament only, he's getting the three seven play cards. Mirror activates, destroying Seto's monsters. Now, Keith, do you have something to tribute now? Or are you Nope, no you're not. Attacking for 16 though. Alright. I would risk the life points by just keeping that in your hand, but I know you have to summon something. Sacrifice 2 for the launcher spider. Mids of mystical space destroys the ring of the defense. You need a pot of greed and draw summon your blue eyes ultimate. Or pay 2,000, which you're most likely going to do. There's Blue Eyes number one. Unfortunately, you can't do it a second time. You need Soul Exchange and then sacrifice something else. Another card face down. Blue Eyes try sacking the Blear Blast Spear. And I think that will doesn't inflict damage. I don't think so. It does, you lose. Okay, you lost. Alright, Setsville. You lost. And Keith's moving up. Once this loads. Alright, next up is Dupree versus Gecko. Dupree, Gecko. Well, you can still catch it on YouTube if you're interested in catching, finishing it. Have a good night. Seeing Monster Reborn is Zed Zealant and it's Dady War Lady. 15 to the face, 24 to the face. Alright, Raigek is on the field, destroying the two cards. Delta Guardian. 14 to the face. Alright, the priest's turn. Playing Dark Hole. Alright, we'll catch you then. <laughs> Playing two cards face now. You can't tell Gecko's theme, it's more elf themed. Heavy Storm destroys face now, another Celtic Guardian. Grand Maju is destroyed. Alright. Chaos okay, Zone's activating. Another Celtic Guardian. 28 to the face. Two more is on the field, getting removed from play one. Activate Chaos Straw, set those makes a token. Reason, reason why I gave uh, the pre removed from play stuff is because of Zeta. Zeta.
but it looks like Gecko is moving on. Most likely. Get resurgence, summon the Ancient Elf. One attack. And Zeta destroys the prey. Exhibits Weevil versus Bones. Weevil versus Bones. I hope Bones wins, but Weevil can do some awesome stuff, so hopefully. Showing up, Bones. There you are. I have one. Weevil's having the killer needle plus the armored beetle or needle, whatever you call it. The monster warns the clown because Weevil secretly loves clowns. Another card face down. Heavy storm is activating, destroying all the thing on the field. Plague Wolves on the field, using effect to get to Suke, destroying the zombie. And since the used effect it is destroyed. Killing the needle attacks for 1200. And a card base down. Another card base down. And Kill Your Needle is too scared to attack now. What he doesn't know is Bones doesn't have very many low 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 high I mean high attack high defense monsters. What am I trying to say? So he should have just attacked anyway. He got three cocoons in a row. Here's the charity, draw three cards, discard two. Another plague wolf. Take a thousand. Take a nine hundred. And two more cards face down. Another card face down. Realm zombie. Destroy the insect. You can banish the zombie. So I just summon another zombie. Use effects, turn that to the deck, and put it back in the field. And then summon the Pump Princess. Pump Princess is one of Bone's secret tech. If that gets destroyed, it gets put on the spell and trapped field. So. Alright. A little late for that, but make sure you can't stomp over them, I guess. I wouldn't abuse it yet, but you will you do you. Alright, we was gonna play the Crystal Charity, this will let's draw three cards, discard two. And set another monster. I don't think he needs the ultimate pit great moth, but He's keeping it there just in case. Actually wants to try summoning it. It looks like wolves on the field. Pump Princess is not strong enough. It puts the monsters in defense just in case. Alright, we will. Big insects will destroy one of the Pump Princesses. But you just cause your own downfall. One counter is activated. The zombie is getting a little bit bigger. Arm of zombie attacks. And sends that back to the deck. Petite moth destroyed. 
Separates that for the Palm King. Trap card, remove that from play. Summon the Clown Zombie. Come Princess makes them all weak again. And give armor to one of them. Destroy the Clown Zombie. I don't think Weevil has the Ghost of the Chance. Three counters now. Cocoon's destroyed. Dragon Zombie's on the field as well. Um, Princess gets him a little weaker again. Even weaker now. I feel like this is opposite of Duels of Roses. Because in Duels of Roses, the ultimate moth is what makes everything weak. Okay, they're getting even weaker. Now they should be able to destroy now. One's destroyed. Two's destroyed. And finish us off. Good job, Bones. Next up is Risa versus Yami. Will the witches be able to defeat the spirits? We'll find out right now. There's Herman's Fire. There's some of that thing that has 18 attack. The Witch of Fate of something. Yami puts in, is playing defensive. Pot of Greed activates, draw two cards. Some Medusa, which. But Necroface is still too strong. Raikeki will destroy it though. I would have waited until the next turn, but you gotta destroy it now, I guess. Eventually, Bakori will get his new zombie fusion, but that'll probably be in like six or seven months. Depending on when that card gets released. Into Master Duel. Yami activates. Drug Force is summoned. Which destroys. Six into the face. Bokor needs to start finding a way to win, because he's gonna lose if this keeps continuing. 13, 16. All right, yeah, but is losing. Reese is happy that she's moving on a little, little bit. Pete versus Zygor. Or where are you? I go to sacrifice England's Center Dragons to get Dragon Dark. I gain two mountains. Give me an electric whip. And aiming a stern. 
Third Earth's effect. Send that away, send it, grab another one from the hand. Pod Braid. Draw two cards, set one card, set one card. And turn. Charcoal and Patchy is just protecting him for a little bit. Zygord may have a lot of Thunder Dragons, but can't really summon very many of them. It's a Mar Mutant Arsenal in his hand. Level Conversion is going to lower its level to a level 6. He has the Arsenal now. 3k beats sick. Attacking for 900. And phase. Zygor has nothing. Zygor is very bricky, but... When he does damage, he does a lot of damage, so... Alright, Zygor, you gotta do something right now. Playing Umi, okay. As Zygor Bar says, Umi and Malkton just spinning on... Lucy facing. Go Pete. Are you going to pop up? There we go. Alright, top four. Reiko versus Mako. Reiko and Mako. Chess versus Ocean. Umi is on the field and the card base down. Greens versus Army, add Cannon. Can Cannon. Charity, send those two away. Pottery, draw two cards. Monster Reborn. Gain the Puppet King. So went on the field. Puppet Pawn's effect. Remove from play. And another King to the hand. Summon Cannon. Not sorry enough, but Puppet King, it, or Puppet King is. Another card face down, and in turn. Make a place once reborn. So we need jellyfish, sacrificing it for the legendary fisherman. He destroys Cannon the Sword Mistress. Rope of Life activates. Sending everything away so he can get Cannon back. She attacked 24. Extra 3k. We need to do something, Mako, please. Attacking hit her life points is not really gonna help. We need to set cards. Alright. King destroys. And Kanan wins. Alright, Reiko, you're moving on. Now it's Sam versus Bandit Keith. Let's see if Sam can do his elephant victory. And yes, this is Cannon Duel. They battled in flashback. Reason why I brought him along. But Sam's doing pretty well, so he might stay along. He 
he is staying along. He likes it here, so. He was originally gonna go back to America, but he's staying here. Robotic Knight is on the field. Destroys a monster. Right, Gekki activates. Goodbye, Robotic, Robotic Knight. And you have nothing to summon. One summon activates. Sub a soldier with metal. Rare metal attacks. Another card base down. Also, space destroys it though. Does not good, look good for Sam. Five activates. Draw two cards. Summon another soldier. Sam's only at 2850. You need to get a flying elephant right now. That can work actually. You're, he's kind of dumb and will use its effect once it's flipped face up, but you can put it back face down. Alright, gem elephant protects him for a little bit. Gem elephant will come back to the hand because he likes using its effects. Even though he could just sacrifice for the Big Tusk Mammoth. Once the Emperor activates, launch of spiders on the field. Protected. Protects himself. A lot of the, the elephants are actually rock type, which is weird. It's gonna pay 2000 to get Gigantus. Destroying. The soldier and a card face down. All right, Sam's putting in a fight. Brain control back to its rightful owner. Slot machines on the field. Mirror force activates, destroying everything. Get out of here, everyone. So this looks like a very close duel, but I think Sam has won this one again. Good job, Sam. You moved on. Alright, Sam. You eat Bandit Keith in the anime and in the tournament. Alright, next up is the Prey versus Bones. Alright, to pre bones, let's start the duel. Alright. I think I probably will try redrawing to pre because he has like a weird face in my mind. I don't know. Any artists that like my channel and want to do some art for me for these characters, go right ahead. Because I'm not the greatest drawer. As you can tell, my art's okay, but I could do like it could be a lot better. Mental printers activates. Moving card from play increases their life points for 500. I'll try to face down. Team Lord goes to defense, and another card face down. Armored Zombies on the field, Mirror Forest activates. Alright. Doom Lord will bring that back. Other Doom Lord says let's remove it. Game 500, sacrifice it for Zeta. Zeta can't attack because of Doom Lord. Two more cards face down. Doom Lord effect. Bristol Charity, draw three cards. Discard two. 
So you know and cross out, get rid of that thing. Gain a counter and some life points. Say this effect, also get a counter. Gain 500. Try right, attacking, Mirror Force destroys everything. And he sets a card. Call Haunted, getting another army zombie. Zeta's destroyed. Rinmaju's destroyed. Alright, two more effects. Bring back another face down. Once we're born, let's get Zeta right back on the field. Zeta attacks the armored zombie. Pot of Greed activates, draw two cards. Zombie something. Get an armor zombie on the field. Full absorption lets you gain some life points. See it destroys. Mom bones. You zombify this world. Turn to attack. No card face down. Zeta destroys. No card face down. No card face down. Zeta so attacked the pump princess. Now you set off the trap. One counter activates. You see this getting a little weaker. Draw phase. Guess what? You're getting a little weaker now too. You can destroy the clown zombie all you want. You're gonna send a whole bunch of cards away for either millions, but he's smart enough to say, nope, you're getting rid of that. We're not doing that dealing with that. This is time for even a weaker now. Once reborn. Now it's Zeta versus Zeta. Only Bones is Zeta is a little bit more refreshed. Zombie born reborn. Clown zombie on the field, clown zombie the field. The 300. Add that back to the deck. 1350. Add that back to the deck. 1350. And that goes back to deck as well. Now Priya looks like he's got a little injured now. And Princess is going to weaken everything up a little bit. He's going to banish a zombie so he can special summon a different zombie. And then he's going to take that, send that to the deck, add it on left field again. When Princess is powering up. We sense powering up even more. 1550. Add that back to the deck. 1700. Add that back to the deck. 24. And add that back to the deck. And Princess is even weaker. Karma Cut. Discard that. Get rid of Zeta. But you just left yourself open. Bones is moving on. Good job, Bones. My man Bones is moving on. Next up is Risa versus Pete. Risa and Pete. Where's Pete? There's Pete. And 
where's Pete? I'm blind. There's Pete. She play, he plays Painful Choice. He has one Mutant card. He's gonna use it for Ritual though. Use an Arsenal, get Sacrifice so he can summon. I can rope. And he gets Purple and Patchy. Where Forest activates, destroying it. And B just lost a whole bunch of cards. Witch Apprentice and Witch of Black Forest roll from the field. At 26.50. And then CERN. Right kick he activates. Destroying those two. Which is that? Add a Dark Elf. Dark Elf's in the field, but God said no, get rid of that. And a card face down. Magical Thorn activates, so. Be careful what you s get rid of. Now we you on the field. Attack for 1850. I feel Risa has this in the bag right now. Red Geki destroys. Gorgon on the field for 14. I do wish they retrained the Hikate. Cards. It'll be interesting since we are going back in time and using doing old cards. Season zero stuff would be interesting that had stuff too. Which dumbs Medusa. Medusa is finishing this off. Come on. Alright, race is there. Alright, top four. Oh, I hear something happening right now. <laughs> Alright. Looks like Soul was just defeated by Yami Bakor just slain Zor her him. But let's go to the next one, Rico versus Sam. Soul might come back, but right now it, we don't know how he's gonna come back if he comes back. And thank you for following, Rose. Reiko, and I think it was Sam was right. Next one. It was Sam, right? Yeah, Reiko Sam. And Sam's. Sam was trying to activate his catapult zone. But Rico said no. But Sam said he had a second one. His flying elephants. Play another card face down, another little trooper. Another card face down. Alright. Rico's playing defensive right now. One elephant destroys. The triple gets the last one though. And the last one's destroyed. No more little troopers. If Raiko tries using Dark Hole or Lightning Vortex, 
Little elephant will survive. Cabal Sun will survive that too. Like I said, a lot of elephants are rock types, which is weird. I'll take it, but it's weird. Heavy Storm activates. So no more still win. Great weird mammoth. Puppet Rift. Sacrifice for the king. And it forces the attack. Kind of destroyed. Yeah, I don't think you should have sacrificed your capital zone. King destroyed the elephant. And two cards face down. Dark hole activating, get rid of the king. Summon the gem elephant and use its effects. Because the AI is not the smartest. You should have set that man. Pot of Greed activates, summon the Rook, Rook's effect, his defense, and send the King again. Please don't try attacking it, thank you. Rook sacrifice for the Queen, Queen's effect, summon the King anyway. Gem Elephants destroys. King inflicts a lot of damage. End phase. Come on, Sam. You need a way to win. You're the champion. We know you are. Elephant destroyed. And the king wins. You did really good, Sam. I'm proud of you. Alright, next is Bones versus Risa. Bones, I'm hoping you win as well. You're very much a normal zombie deck, but your monsters can come back all you want. I'm drawing link where Bones is. There you are, Bones. So you're to playing the Graceful Charity. There we go. And she has a Dark Elf on the field now, too. She is gonna get so slowly get weaker with the Pump Princess on the field. Drunken zombies, just waiting for, to the hap for that to happen. All right, Dark Elf, you're weak. We're getting on the field as well. You can burn for 600 and send the card back. The Gorgeous Vec will make your zombie zero attack as well. All right. Bones' his turn. Pump Princess is going to make it thing a little bit weaker again. It's going to activate a second Wasteland and a card face down. Now you're 1600. Dark Elves can make you a little bit stronger. Alright, if Risa finishes him off quick enough, he can she can win. Magical Thorns. Even weaker. Great Blue Zombie is going to destroy it. Burn from 500. Now it's going to be starting to get risky if it keeps on playing with the Dark Elf. Okay, 1000 to attack for 100 and 450. Another card face down. Princess. You can go. Get the Plague Wolf. Double your attack. Destroy the Dark Elf. Even though that was really helping you. Destroys itself. Pump Princess. Even weaker. 
lucky on me. 12. 1650. Bones is getting really weak now. Zombie. Destroy 950. Reese is only a thousand left. This could go either way. Looks like it's gonna be on Bones' side, but. Playing defensive, that's a pretty good idea. Another Pound Princess in the hands. Heavy Storm. I wouldn't have done that personally, but AI does whatever it wants. Alright. The Monster Reborn hitting Dragon Zombie. So wins the whichever you're called. 250. Princess activates again. And Bones is stopped by Risa. You did pretty good, Bones. I'm proud of you. Wait, at the wrong person. Sam did not win. So we're gonna be two ladies winning. But before that, we're gonna have round. Third place match, Sam versus Bones. Oh, why is Reese's face up there still? So. I can stay up there for a second. All right, there we go. Why isn't Sam's face up there anymore? There we go. Well, Solomon just went to wasteland, but Plague Wolf says it's gonna be a little too strong. And Mirafrost, nope, not happening. Don't play Dark Hole. Thank you for not playing Dark Hole. It wouldn't be hilarious if you did, but... Middle Ephantis on the field. And it wants to be... A rock. Okay, it's destroyed. Shouldn't the elephant be able to survive that? Or it has to be on your opponent's side, turn. Oh, let me turn that one to... I think that was supposed to be an insect. Alright. Sam playing Monster Reborn on his flying elephant. Mimi is turning that one to the reptile now. And in turn. Mom Bones. I want Sam to win too, but I like Bones too. Flying Elephant's now a zombie. And this is a zombie, it gets a little power boost. Heavy Storm activates, get rid of everything. Smart to get rid of that now. Bones is getting a little scared now, so he's playing a defensive. Elephant statue attacks, another pump queen princess. 1850 to the face though. This is one counter, but Sam says, nope, we're not dealing with that. Get out of here. Grizzle Charity activates, draw three cards, discard two. So I'm gonna Plague Wolf, a Monster Reborn. Second Plague Wolf. 
Double attack. Double, double your attack. Destroy. And destroy. But Bones has now left itself open just as well as Sam did. This could go either way now. Alright. He has a card for his own safety. Bones has something similar, I'm guessing. Ellen Statue of Disaster attacks with 1500. Alright, Bones, what's going on? Dragon Zombie attacks. 100 damage. Not the move you needed, but Regeki will keep you protected for a little bit. In turn, there we go. Bones, do you have something to counter that now? Another Plague Wolf. 1000. Sam's getting a little weak now. Catapult Zone might save you in a turn or two, but right now it's not going to help you. Plague Wolf's going to double its stack and get a little stronger. Alright, Bones, you are the winner. You are third place. I'm proud of you, Bones. Rico and Risa are the finalists. Let's set them up on the thing because they're going to be ma a match. I always do my final round as a match. Where's Rico on blinds? There's Rico. And there's Risa. All right, let's go get them in the to be ready. Rico's in the first place over here, and the other side was Risa. Rico, Risa, let's go. Like I said, this is a match, best of three. If someone wins two matches in a row, they win. Alright, Reiko's playing defensive right now. Three cards face down. Reese is drawing two cards with Pot of Greed. Old Man says burn a little bit. So Medusa the Witch, but Mirror Force destroys it. Monster Reborn. She likes her Witch. Medusa is in defense now. And three cards face down. Bad Reactions Moche, Magil Thorns. So if you do something stupid, you will hurt yourself. Ragekking activates. And she's, nope, you're not Ragekking either. She's gonna pay half her life points, get rid of it. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Silgan activates. Can end on the field now. But she's just not strong enough to overtake that. She activates two monsters for the vision hero. Destroys the wit with the witch. Destroys the little trooper, but the little trooper can special summon another one. And when that one's destroyed, can special summon another one. That legend sword's not gonna help very well, but let's see if she can do something else. Gorgon's on the field. Destroying the little trooper. Special summon the other one. Medusa's gonna destroy that one. Vision hero attacks for 29. Doesn't look good for Reiko. Playing a little defensive now. Witch Apprentice attacks. Loses exclusivity. Organ destroys it though. Rope of Life activates. Get rid of her hands. 
Special summon that again with higher attack. Destroy it again. Vision hero. Alright, round one goes to Risa. Let's try round two. Is she going to be able to finish this and open two duels? Or is Reiko going to have a better hand and be able to conquer? Alright, she's playing off with two cards. Gorgon's on the field already. Destroying the pawn. And one card face down, which is getting destroyed in the mystical. Setting a Raigeki is not always a good idea. Sogan's on the field, pawn's effect. We've replayed the add a king to the hand. Ken ends on the field, attacks for 200. Another two cards face down. Pop it, focus on the field, goes in defense, sends a king. And you have to attack, you have to attack it. And it will summon the king in its place. To do a little checkmate, kind of thing. Dark elves on the field. We'll have to go after it. Switch us on the king. And we'll inflict another thousand. You should never go after the brook. Monster Reborn. Getting a Dark Elf. Carpenter on the throne is on there. Looks for 1000. 16. 3k. And Dark Elf. Finish it. So it's, so it's 1 1. Could go either way this time. Alright, round three. Is Reiko gonna get some money for her surgery? Or is Risa gonna be excited to win as a duel queen? Alright, Risa's playing three cards face down. Rook's on the field. Fence sending the king. Monster born in the king already. Attacking with the king, destroying the witch, the witch's effect. Adds Kaido Bow Pass, whatever that pronounce it. The witch of Fate. Another card face down. Rook sacrifice for the queen. Returning alive to get the rook back. Queen's attacking. Prince is destroyed. King is inflicting a lot of damage. Another card face down. Two more cards face down. Sogan activates. Robin Zombly summons the Rook. Sends another King to the grave. Queen attacks. King attacks. From the zombie since Gorgon away. Alright, Risa, gotta do something. Grabbing miss, activates, and two parts to sound. No troopers on the field. Oh, we're attacking, but Mirror Force says nope. Get out of here, all everyone. Alright, Risa found a way out. Now let's see if she can pull through. Getting 1200, that's a pretty good idea. From Dark Elf. Lifting 3800. Almost halfway there. Reiko, what's he gonna do? Send another card. Another Dark Elf. You can try attacking, but Stronghold won't let you. Alright. 
That protected you for one turn. And that's going to protect you for another turn. Alright, you're going to summon the Witch, activate that trap, destroy it. Good trap card to get. Old Trooper swims an Old Trooper. Attacks. Pay your last thousand for that. Now your Dark Elves can't do anything. And I don't think it works because you did not summon that. Uh, Risa. All right, Risa. You lose. Reiko won. Good job, Reiko. All right, for this tournament. Looks like Reiko is our winner for the Duels Kingdom Master Duels Series Tournament. This is going to be uploaded on YouTube probably later today. Or you can, and then you can watch next tournament next week. Next week it's going to deal with the characters that were not invited for this tournament. Or we'll hanging out in Duke Devlin's shop. So you get to see Grandpa, Solomon, Duke Devlin. Tristan, and a few other characters. Hopefully you guys will see you then. You can also check out on Thursday, there is my YouTube series that is actually an ARC-V tournament right now. They're doing the manga right now. They're both mangas, technically, so... Their decks are pretty unique, so... I'll see you guys then. Hope you guys have a good night. Pet your pets. Later, later.